I wanted to make a different video for this week, but I felt like that would be ignorant and would show my privilege in being able to ignore what's going on in the world right now, in the country right now. After George Floyd was murdered by police, protests broke out around the country, um, some turning violent into riots, including in my own city. I'm honestly not even going to say anything controversial in this video, and I'm not going to sit here for forever and run my mouth because as a white person, it's not about me. It's not about what I have to say. It's not my movement. And it's not about white people at all, actually. Anything good, any progress that comes from the protests will be because of the work and bravery of Black people going out and protesting injustices in the middle of a pandemic. I'm making this video to say, go listen to Black activists, Black creators and influencers and their experiences. The least that you can do is go listen and educate yourself. The absolute least that you can do. Beyond that, you can sign petitions that are circulating online. You can donate. I've donated to the ACLU and the Minnesota Freedom Fund, which is a bail fund, but there's bail funds. There's a national one and there's ones all around the country that you can donate to. Um, I'll link some places you can donate to in the bio, um, or you can go out and exercise your First Amendment right to assembly if you feel comfortable doing that. Black Lives Matter. If that's controversial to you, or if your first reaction is to argue with that statement, I genuinely encourage you to go educate yourself about the history and the true meaning behind the statement. Again, go watch and listen to what Black people have to say and their experiences. When Kylie Jenner takes a five minute break from arguing with Forbes, uh, whether she's worth $900 million or a billion dollars to talk about police brutality. It's not educating you. It's not making you think critically about anything. And ultimately in the end, it's meaningless. I also encourage you to take notice of who is speaking out and who is staying silent. I know exactly who on my Instagram feed is posting bikini pictures of themselves by the pool and who is sharing links to bail funds and donating. The most important thing that you can do is listen and stay educated. Staying ignorant is part of the problem.